Now we started it all at Bell Labs in 1994. The field is very exciting now, it's commercial and so forth. But we, uh, what has happened is, uh, is extremely interesting. Okay, in uh, one of my uh, very bright students found out that QCLs really, uh, under appropriate condition, can emit simultaneously a series of precisely spaced wavelengths. And these are the modes of the cavity. Typically, the modes of a laser cavity are spaced in frequency by one over the round trip time of light in the actual cavity. This is basic laser physics. We have seen the QCL inherently, they can emit uh, under appropriate condition a comb, a frequency comb, where this, the, where you have multiple modes that are uh, equally spaced with an enormous precision, better than one part in 10 to the actual 12. And this is naturally a comb. So QCLs, if you operate them carefully, are naturally frequency combs. You drive them, you don't have to do really anything. They come, and we have called this the harmonic state, the harmonic comb. So these combs, instead of the the modes being uh, very close, they are quite far apart. And then they are tunable, and that opens up an entirely new perspective. For example, we have found that these mo harmonic modes can now beat among themselves because, and generate a microwave note. So a vision in the future that we can use now QCL, a, la a laser, an optical laser, as a microwave and source by using the beatings. And this is very exciting.